All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Jimmy Rivera. Here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. It's exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, five losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Jimmy El Terra Rivera! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, be back to play. in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems 
trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Pretty good right hand. O'Malley's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Beautiful punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might throw themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> He connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. O'Malley gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Just out of range with that right hand. Connects with a right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, some taller fighter hands a flush knee. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Rivera gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Flush right hand is true. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right-left combo by Sean O'Malley. Head kick there blocked by Rivera. Oh, just misses with the kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective strike there by Rivera. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Rivera gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Good punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Rivera's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And they separate. Rivera gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. in the books. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. 
He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Rivera gets caught with that punch. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. O'Malley gets caught by that straight hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, Malley gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Knee to the body there. That one, though, blocked by Rivera. Oh, that's a good strike there by O'Malley. Beautiful head kick. Rivera gets touched by that kick there. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice one, two there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. O'Malley gets the tie clinch here. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Rivera. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off him by blocking all these attacks. Big kick lands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Effective punch there by O'Malley. Back and forth we go. Thirty seconds to go in round two. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Straight right is there. Big kick land. And they separate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the 
location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing it. If they're not going to check, keep throwing the leg kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Switching stances here. His big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And there's a takedown attempt. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, Malley gets caught with that punch. Just misses with the left hook. Beautiful leg kick throw. Watch knees to the body. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Rivera circling now towards the left. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Punch over the top. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Got clipped with the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice head kick. That is a stiff jab. Rivera's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, nice. Missed with that attempt. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Straight punch lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big and kick. And he landed the right hand there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Powerful leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Just misses with the right. Beautiful body to land. Oh. Right up. Two's good. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Rivera's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Just misses with the punch by Rivera. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Ooh, what a punch. Just 
out of range with that left hook. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Ali's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain size control here, but unable to do so. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition Whoa! for you. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Beckons, though, for how long he still looks like he hasn't quite recovered. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice punch, man. They continue to exchange. Escape DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, there absolutely. You well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice loop to punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight. Oh, my goodness. Gets up again here, but hurt. Wow. Look at that. He's trouble. It's over. It's over. Unbelievable. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 43 seconds at round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Shalomar! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout.
knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.